to the National Gallery of Ireland in Dublin. We're delighted to be taking part in St. Patrick's Festival. The gallery opened its doors in 1864 and this is the Grand Gallery in the Dargan Wing. Check out the beautiful ceiling with glass, with natural daylight flooding into the space, the beautiful colours on the walls, and a lot of the paintings show finely dressed ladies and gentlemen from the 18th century. But we're going to have a look at one very, very special painting today. So let's have a look at it closely. So what can you see in the front of the painting? We call that the foreground. And what can you see in the middle of the painting? The middle ground. And how about at the back of the painting, in the background? What can you see? What do you think might be happening? If you were magically transported into the painting, would there be anything that you might hear? Or how about any smells? Well, this very, very famous painting is of the Battle of the Boyne. This is Old Bridge, which is on the borders of County Louth and County Meath. And it's 1690, but the painting was actually made in 1693 by Jan Bick, and we can see his signature on the painting. So that means that this painting is over 300 years old. Did you notice the cannons and the cannonballs? Did you see all the horses as soldiers? So what we're going to try and do is we're going to see if we can bring the painting to life. So to get started, what we want to do is make sure that it's safe space. So just take your shoes and your socks off. Make sure that you have a flat surface, that there's no toys or no pets running around. Make sure there's no furniture close by. We don't want you to slip and fall. And we're going to start off with horse pose. So in the painting, you saw there are lots of different horses. So to come into that pose, we're going to come down onto all fours. Your hands will be shoulder width apart. Your knees will be hip distance apart and we'd like your shoulders to be over your wrists and your hips over your knees. So you can make this pose, you can use this pose for lots of different animals, but we're going to use it for horse today. So imagine that you have a tail. The first way we're going to do is look up with your head and look up with your tail. Arch your back and then turn your head down and drop your tail. Push your spine, your back up towards the ceiling. Let's try that again. So arch your back, lift your head and your tail, round your spine, drop your head, drop your tail. So let's just in our own time do a few of those to sort of loosen up our backs, especially if you're feeling any tightness or any tiredness in your back. Just gently rounding and arching. pushing into your hands, pushing into your knees, imagining that you're a horse on the battlefield. Now the next time we're going to use our breath. So breathing in as you look up, breathe out as you look down. Deep breath in, and out. Breathe in, lift your head and your tail, breathe out. Just doing a few of those in your own time. Wakening up your spine. And out to the side. Different movements for your spine. Great, well done. So now let's see if we can be a horse that's galloping. So this time now we can start to move our spine in all directions, your hips. Move whatever way feels comfortable for you, so you can make it as freestyle as you like. Now 
and come back to centre again. Well done. So, as well as all the soldiers on the battlefield, there are also two kings, King William and King James. And in the painting, you're actually looking at it from the view of King William and his army. So in yoga, we have some warrior poses. So let's stand up now and do those warrior poses together. Okay. So to do warrior one pose, we're gonna start off feet apart. Again, make sure that there's nothing around you that you could slip or fall on. Feet facing forward. We're going to turn one foot out and we're gonna bring the other foot well in. And now our hips are going to turn to the side. We're going to keep this back leg straight and strong, so really grip your knee, grip your thigh, keep that back leg straight and strong. And when you're ready, we're going to bend your front knee. Now, if you notice that your knee goes too far, you just need to widen your legs. And if you're finding it difficult to balance, just widen your legs this way as well. So keep the back leg straight and strong, bend your front knee, press into the ball of this foot, hands on hips to start off with, and draw your belly button in. Now we want you to be nice and long in the sides of your body. When you're ready then, straighten your front leg, and let's try it on the other side. So starting off, feet facing forward, turning one foot out, the other foot back well in. Keep the back leg straight and strong, bend your front knee. Draw your belly button in, stand up nice and tall, and press into the ball of your front foot. So imagine that you're a warrior on the battlefield. And then straighten your front leg, turn around, and let's go and try the other side again. So turning out, turning well in. Now your hips are facing this direction here. Keep the back leg straight and strong, bend your front knee. This time, let's try and raise our hands into the air. So if you notice that your shoulders have risen up, drop them down, keep your belly button pulled in, keep the sides of your body nice and tall, warrior one. So you imagine you're on the battlefield, the Battle of the Boyne. Then when you're ready, hands on hips, straighten your front leg, come back to center. Let's try it on the other side. Back leg straight, bend your front knee, Draw your belly button in, stand up nice and tall, and when you're ready, raising your arms up. Warrior one. Great. And back to center. Good stuff. Now there's another version as well that we can do called warrior two. It's slightly different, so let's give it a go together. So this time, your legs will be slightly wider apart, toes facing forward, hands on hips, Let's turn your foot out. This time, only a slight turn on the other one. Now you want to keep your hips facing forward, your shoulders facing forward, draw your belly button in, hands on hips, and bend your front knee. Now if you find again you've gone too far, you might have to widen your legs. So this knee needs to be over your ankle. Keep your torso facing forward, and when you're ready, arms up to shoulders, reach out through your fingertips, and then turn your head. How are you finding that? So again, imagine that you're a warrior, you're a soldier at the Battle of the Boyne. To come out of it, drop your hands, straighten your leg and bring your toes back to center and we'll try it on the other side. So turning the toes out, keep your hips facing forward, your shoulders facing forward, bending your front knee and when you're ready, looking out to the side. Keep those fingertips nice, of act, nice and active, and imagining that you're a warrior. Let's come out of it again. Arms down, and we'll try it on the other side again. Feet, draw your belly button in. Bend your front knee, just check your alignment that this knee hasn't gone too far. Keep everything facing forward, and when you're ready, looking out to the side. Now maybe this time we might actually add some phrases that make us feel strong. So you could say, I am strong, I am brave, I am courageous. So keep that back leg nice and strong, press into the ball of your front foot, keep your belly button drawn in, and see can you hold. Well done. Let's try again on the other side. 
turning your feet out, bending your front knee, making sure that your torso is facing forwards, and when you're ready, looking to the side. Back leg nice and straight and strong. I feel strong. I feel brave. I feel courageous. And then gently dropping your hands, turning your toes to center, and let's come back. Great. So those are the warrior poses in yoga. So now, if you remember in the painting, at the back of the painting, we saw the sky. We saw beautiful billowing clouds and we could see the light shining on the clouds, turning them all sorts of different colors. So yoga originated in, in India. So now we're going to do some Qigong and Qigong are exercises from China. So we're going to start off in what's called horse stance. So you're basically bringing your feet out with your toes facing forward and you want to have a nice gentle bend in your knees as if you were sitting on the back of a horse. So we're going to do one that is called clouding hands. So we're going to imagine that our hands are clouds. So to start off, we have one hand up, one hand down. We're going to switch our weight over and our hands to the other side. And when we can't go any further, we're going to change our hands. One hand up, one hand down. Let's twist to the other side. When you can't twist any further, change hands. So we're just going to sway from side to side. Imagining that our hands are like clouds. You can breathe whatever way feels comfortable. And you can also move the weight of your body from foot to foot. Clouding hands, our hands are like clouds. How are you getting on with that? Sometimes our minds can be very busy. We have lots of thoughts going through them. So imagine that your thoughts are like the clouds. You're just letting them go. Clouding hands, just like the clouds in the Battle of the Boyne. And let's come back to center. Well done. So there's another pose that we can do as well. So same position, horse stance with a nice gentle bend in your knees. For this one, we're going to cross our hands. We're going to reach up towards the sky and make a giant V. So look up, stretch out your fingertips, stretch out through the sides of your body. Bring your hands together and then gently push back down towards the earth and gently bend your knees. Can we try that again. Reach up. Make a giant V, reach up, look up. Bring your hands together and push down back to earth. This pose is called separating the clouds. So as you move your arms out, Imagine that you're separating the clouds so that the sun can come through. Push the clouds away. Reach up through your fingertips. Maybe you can feel the sun on your face. You imagine it as you see the clouds parting. So we can use our breath as well. We breathe in when we come up. Breathe out as we gently sink back down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Imagine you're pushing the clouds aside.
separating the clouds. And last time, breathe in, reach up, breathe out. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you enjoyed it from the Grand Gallery at the National Gallery of Ireland. Yeah.